What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. On the video today, I'm going to break down step by step how to recreate the Dixie D'Amelio haircut and color. So we're going to start off with the cut. Let me break that down for you guys and then we'll go into the color technique. All right, so to start this technique off, we're going to be creating square back concave layers. So basically what that means is I want to have my elbow free. I'm going to take vertical sections straight down center back and I'm going to pull those sections straight out from the head and then I'm going to pretend like the tip of my finger gets stuck in the hair and I'm going to shift my elbow straight up towards the ceiling making my forearm parallel with the floor. What that's going to do is it's going to remove a ton of weight from the back of the haircut so creating a lot of layers, a lot of movement uh, and this is great for thicker hair. So now I'll just continue taking those vertical sections all the way through the back, pulling everything straight back from where it lives, not over directing it at all and just working my way through it. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the right-hand side of the head. We're basically gonna mimic the left-hand side. The biggest difference here is gonna be how I comb. So if you noticed, when I was working the left-hand side, I was combing away from my body. Now I'm pulling that hair towards me. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm shifting the guide uh, over to the new section. So that new section has to come straight back off of the head shape. That's gonna make it purely square. So I pull it straight back, I bring the guide to it, and then I shift that elbow up in the air, keeping my body position the same. Also, what I'm going over right here is tension. Make sure that your tension is nice and consistent throughout the section. That'll give you the most consistent results as you work through it. So we're just going to continue working this right side until we finish up. All right, so now we basically finished the back. You can see the layers. It's a little bit hard because the hair is dark, but you'll see it at the end. Uh, I bring the hair down. I cut a blunt line on the bottom just to give this a nice clean feel. This is where you should really figure out where your guest's hair is going to look the healthiest. Now we're going to move into the side. I'm going to be using my brand new tool. This is the Tri Razor by Free Salon Education. We created this thing. Uh, it's an awesome tool for cutting layers, uh, creating texture, cutting a fringe. So we're going to go in and we're just going to swipe it like a credit card and create a face frame so just bring that section completely condensed swipe it with the 100% cutting side and then you can see how many layers happen in just a quick uh, swipe of that razor so we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side try razor 100% side and just swipe through it also has a texture 25 side and a texture 50 side that take out 25% and 50% of the hair. You can have some fun with that as well. It's available on our online store, Shop FSE. Uh, so make sure that you check that out. Now we're gonna move into the very top. This is a pretty simple uh, thing to do as well. We're gonna elevate everything straight up in the air and I'm gonna do point cutting, uh, following a guideline from the bottom. So I really just pulled some of that that we cut with the tri razor uh, into it so I could get a good guideline for it. And then I overdirect everything over and I do it the same on both sides uh, and what that does gives me a versatile top that can kind of swing back and forth uh, what I love about this style is it can be kicked to either side so it gives it a really cool look so you can see that and now we're gonna go in and we're gonna start our blow dry. I'm gonna do a quick power dry, which will get the hair about 80% dry. Then I go in with Paul Mitchell Neuro Style Protect. Uh, I'm gonna use this as a heat protectant, so I'll spray it all over those sections I'm gonna do. It also gives me a nice medium control to the hair as well. And then I use my Ergo Paddle Brush to just fine tune it, uh, give it that volume, and just work that brush all around the head. Now a little tip, I'm gonna work everything around here, uh, all working kind of on base. And then when I work the top, I'm going to go off base totally towards my body, which is going to pop the most volume through that top. So that whole mohawk section, just blow drying it all forward towards myself to give myself maximum volume.
right guys, so I'm gonna run my hands through it and show you guys this comparison. So here you can see she really flips her bangs over. Uh, so you can see that long fringe, how it comes in handy. Also that pop of blue, the layering that you see throughout it. Uh, it's just a really cool cut and color. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Also, please just make sure that you subscribe to the channel. And if you get a chance, go to Shop FSE, purchase a tri razor. I know you guys are gonna love it. Can't wait to see what you create with it. Um, and that's pretty much it. Here's the end result. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh,